Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in Final Fantasy 15. You have two ways that we can change your... Um, you can optimize your uh, graphic parameters slash FPS. You have uh, for sure inside of the game. And also we'll show you uh, the config file because you can change some nice stuff in the config file. So we will see it at the end of the video. So first of all, uh, resolution, yeah, make sure that you're just playing your normal resolution. Uh, you will touch this at the end if you still don't have your 60 FPS, you will, will lower it. But uh, it sh you should not start with this. So first of all, make sure that the game is full screen. I saw a lot of issue with the game at uh, off right now, off full screen. So probably some kind of Windows slash borderless mode. I, I, I was like uh, losing 7 FPS, so that's kind of crazy. So make sure that you're uh, using a full screen. V-Sync off because you want to unlock the number of FPS. We don't, we don't want also input lag. Also make sure that your FPS uh, counter are, is at on graphic. So fr frame rate uh, right now, it's the maximum inside of the game is 120. But you, as you see on the top left of my screen, I got 144. Because I have a 144 Earth screen, I want my FPS at 144. So we have a way to change it in the config file. I will show you at the end of the video. Resolution, this one uh, can be important if you have a low-end uh, PC or a laptop with like uh, a bad video card in it. Uh, this one you can downscale the resolution of the 3d object inside of the game uh, so for example you can still play in 1080p but downscale the resolution over there Be but you will see like a big decrease in your image quality so this one is more at the end if you're still struggling with your fps you can definitely look at this one the first two one that i think you should look at it's shadow first of all shadow make make sure that this one is at low it's crazy you will gain three to four fps for each bracket uh, shadows uh, inside of this game it's like big map you have like trees objects character and everything is like rendering shadows on the floor so make sure that this one is at low and in the config file you can also change the shadow resolution so you can still lower it uh, uh, more than this because you can't really remove it the minimum is low in this game lighting same thing you will gain two to three fps for each bracket so high to low you can gain six fps that's a lot so this one also very important um for sure right now you're seeing all my parameters at i if you have a low end pc don't start at i make sure that you average everything and after that you make sure that you're changing your shadow and your lighting and you will see a nice uh, improvement uh, over there uh the other one ambient inclusion this one you can't remove it so that's pretty good you can gain two to three fps for each of one so i you i recommend that you should Remove it. Anti-aliasing, uh, that's... Um, normally you have more option in a game. So that's... I don't like to uh, just have TAA and FXAA. Uh, don't remove your anti-aliasing because you will see that all the objects are kind of breaking in the game. So make sure that using FXAA if you have uh, some struggling, like you have an old video card. If you have something like a 960 and more, just use the AA and you should be fine. Motion blur, this one remove it. I don't like the effect. Except maybe if you like the effect, uh, it's like the blurry thing when you move uh, left to right like very quickly. Uh, I saw an improvement of 2 to 3 FPS just to remove this parameter and it's not necessarily uh, an image quality uh, thing. It's more like an effect in the game, so definitely this one you should remove it. Uh, screen filtering, this one is a bit weird. On my video card, I, I have 1 to 2 FPS for each bracket but on my AMD card I saw a big improvement over here like 2 to 3 FPS so make sure that you're testing it right now I'm using uh, an RX 480 for my AMD card and my Nvidia card is at 1070 so uh, yeah make sure that you're doing some testing here even if you maybe have an old uh, Nvidia card maybe it will uh, give you uh, more FPS than expected Nvidia Airware Turf Effect Shadow Lib. Those one. If you have an Nvidia card uh, series 900 or less, honestly, don't use it. It's pretty bad the performance with that. Uh, except maybe if you have a 980 Ti, something like that, you should like definitely test it. But uh, you will see uh, the dynamic air can take a lot of resources of your computer. If you have a, a thousand series like 10. Uh, 
1070, 1080, 1080 Ti, stuff like that, you will uh, run this without any problem. But like the tree option, you can put it at on, honestly. It's uh, running well. I didn't test it on a 1060, so maybe you guys can comment about it. I'm not sure if you... For sure, if you're playing in 60 FPS, you should be fine. But if you want uh, more than... Uh, you want to, I don't know, cap your 120 because you have a 120 Hz screen, uh, maybe you will struggle with uh, your video card. So, and uh, for sure, if you have an AMD card, just remove that thing. Uh, I, I had like a lot of bad experience with The Witcher 3. The air works was like re <laughs> deleting straight up uh, 20 FPS of my game uh, with my AMD card. So make sure that everything is at off. So let's go to the config file. For sure, the alt tab doesn't work right now. A lot of buggy stuff in this game. We'll, we'll control alt delete. Good. Okay, so. To find the file, go to Documents, My Games, Final Fantasy, Steam, Number, Safe Storage, and open your Graphics Config here. You will see that you don't have a lot of options if you compare inside of the game, but you have a couple of options that are not in the game. So first of all, max frame rate, you can change it over there. You can put 144, so it will override the 120 lock in the game. Okay, so this one is pretty cool. Also, the other thing I was talking about uh, previously, the shadow resolution, this one you can lower it over there, so you will gain, again, more FPS than um, just low, put lower the, the setting, so that's pretty good. You can also change your texture anisotropic filters and your texture streaming memory in this file. So after that, you just save it and make sure that it's, it's okay. And also, I recommend that putting this file in read-only mode to make sure that the game doesn't override your uh, graphic setting. So that's about it guys, if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your CPU, RAM, GPU, and I will try to help the best that I can, and also don't forget to sub to the channel, peace!